Okay, so what's up, y'all? I'm Morton Joe 245 here, and today we're doing a review on something awesome, so stay tuned. Okay, so I just got this in the mail today, and I couldn't wait to review it, so uh, this is the Fun School Zartan from India, which uh, was available in 2001, uh, long after you know, G.I. Joe ended here in the U.S., but uh, which I do actually have uh, an extra or one of these, as I have the U.S. version, which I will compare it to. Starting with his accessories, we're going to start off with his pistol right here. Which is, you know, the same pistol as the U.S. version, but this one is orange instead of black, which I'll compare here in just a second, but you can see that I always thought this pistol had a very, like, a Luger P08 look to it with the way the handle is, and, you know, the, oops, looks like it's got, like, a, a toggle lock action on the top here. The next accessory is both his knee pads. Unfortunately, I don't have the U.S. knee pads to uh, compare it to or the chest piece, which I, the chest piece I have it's actually an extra one of these chest pieces I have on my U.S. one. And I'll explain why I, I don't know here in just a minute. But um, as you can see, these were molded with uh, the clear plastic windows there for the heat-sensitive pieces on the uh, U.S. version. But this don't have the clear windows. So I think these actually look better in all black. I always thought them look weird with the, you know, the clear plastic places. But uh, these can be put onto the figure's legs. I can, uh on there. I think there's one. These are uh, the armor pieces on this figure are a little bit loose and they want to pop off. Uh, so there's his knee Next armor. piece is his chest piece as you can see which is not one focus. There you go. This one also has the molded in place for the heat sensitive shield but no clear window which uh, I actually like uh, this better. It looks more looks cool. And uh, so get the figure again. So you can put this on his body like so, which does kind of want to pop off. My, my other one more so. This one does a little bit better. Uh, so there's what it looks like with his chest piece. It always looks better. Okay, so you may notice something in go when I've done the armor and the chest piece is that the hood is actually removable on, on this figure. You know, on the U.S. release here, as you can see, it's it's a molded on piece. It's glued on. You can't remove it. But you can rip this off if you want to because I actually have an extra Zartan that's got this hood ripped off of it. Of the U.S. one. But, uh, so you can see that's the same chest piece uh, on, on this one, which uh, my other I have an extra one of these uh, front school ones right here, as you can see. Here's all three of them. Before I get into that, let me put the hood on. The hood just kind of slides on like so. So I got an extra one in uh, the U.S. one there, and. Uh, this other, my extra one here, the chest piece wants to pop off a whole lot, so that's why I keep it on the other one over there. And, uh, cause I want that one to have a chest piece too. Since this other one's just an extra. But, uh, so, get these out of the way. The hood, um, the, before I can take that out of the way there, the hood on the US one's kind of, it's softer to allow for the mask. And this one right here is kind of hard. As you can see, it has no flex to it. Which does kind of create a little bit of a problem with the mask, which I'm, well, I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so he comes with his mask, which like the uh, hood, the mask is hard, uh, unlike the U.S. one, it's kind of like a rubbery material, and uh, this one's actually got different paint apps too, but uh, it's the same, oops, just dropped it, it's the same mask, but uh, you know, the different paint apps off. So here's the U.S. Uh, mask, and as you can see, the uh, beard is painted a little bit differently and it's a different color. This one as you can see is soft, it, it'll mesh and it's really pliable. As this other one is like I said it's hard. So I'll show you what they look like both on. So here's both versions with both of their masks on. And um the US release the hood is, is pliable so you can put the mask on the inside of the hood. Which the uh on the uh Indian version over here you have to remove the hood and then put the mask on and put the hood over it because it's not pliable enough for you to bend it all out of the way. So once you get it on, it looks pretty cool. It actually helps keep the hood stable too, because the hood wants to. So it's not glued in like the U.S. one. It wants to kind of float around on the on the head. But so yeah. one accessory this figure comes with that is completely different than the U.S. version is his backpack. Now this backpack was really released with Budo in the U.S. and 
So when Zartan was released here in the U.S., this backpack did not exist. As you can see, there's slots inside for Budo swords. Why they give them this backpack, I, I have no idea. Now, the version 1 backpack, you know, was on, in the U.S., was made where you could store the mask in the backpack, which just fell out on my tripod there. I gotta move my camera a little bit because it fell in between my tripod. Okay. But uh, as you can see, the mask would store inside the, uh, the backpack, like so in the U.S., which you cannot do with the, uh, the uh, Indian version here. But luckily, if you're like me and you have a extra uh, version 1 backpack that doesn't have a mask in it, you can take your, the Indian mask and store it in the uh, U.S. backpack. Okay, a little disclaimer here. The mask will fit in the U.S. backpack. I actually, like I said, I have an extra one. But uh, the only problem is the mask is it's hard. The backpack doesn't want to close because you know it won't flex. And you don't want to try to force it in there because you don't want to break the mask. So um, it might not be the best idea, but if you can get it closed, I mean that'd be a good way to to store it. One thing to also note about this figure is this version of Zartan in, the, in India was not made out of the color changing plastic like the U.S. version. So this figure can be taken apart and easily and O-ring uh, replaced, uh, unlike the U.S. version, which was glued. Okay, so let's go over Fun School Zartan's articulation and the standard articulation for most G.I. Joes in the U.S. I removed the hood so we could demonstrate our articulation a little bit easier. He had a, uh, a swivel at the head, a uh, hinge and swivel at the elbow, and the swivel arm articulation, which is a little bit stiff on this figure, so I wouldn't recommend trying to force it. The figure was also held together with a rubber o-ring like in the U.S., so he had a pretty good range of motion. He had a bar joint at the hip and a bend at the knee. So let's go over the sculpt, design, and color of Fun School Zartan, starting with his head. Now, his face sculpt here, uh, the paint on his face is a lot uh, different. Now, mine's got some green paint, uh, a little bit uh, a little bit of paint uh, on the uh, face there where it shouldn't be. Where somebody made a little bit of a mess when they painted it, which that's not the case on all of these. You can see my other one is actually painted quite well, so I think that's just a defect with this one. And uh, this the face uh, paint is completely different than the, the U.S. Zartan, as you can see. The U.S. Zartan had uh, more of a... Um, tilt my camera up a little bit. There we go. But, uh, the U.S. Zartan had a lot more like face tattoos and, and stuff than, than, than this version. This version, kind of, to me, looks like a, a chameleon, no pun intended. Or some kind of alien. Yeah, it looks, it looks kind of weird that the the face paint we're used to in the U.S. But so back out the way here. So going down to his chest, you got the chest piece, which can be removed. But since I got this extra one, I'll show you the uh, chest. And uh, as you can see, he's got a bare chest, you know, with no nipples or no navel. <laughs> which I guess if you got the armor piece on, that wouldn't matter. But still, looks kind of kind of odd. But uh, going around to his back. As you can see, he's got the armor on the back, but Fun School didn't paint the, the borders of his armor, so he's got weird flesh tones, which looks kind of weird. On the you know, on the U.S. release, the, all those borders are, are painted, so it looks a little more natural. But going down to his waist, he has a gold uh, belt buckle and, a, and some kind of gold thing on his uh, side there, which I don't know what that is. That's on the... Uh, the U.S. release, as you can see, with, um, you know, there we go. It's on the U.S. release, but it's not. It's painted black, which I never noticed that there until I got the, the fun school one later or not. But uh, so I'm not sure what that is. It kind of looks like one of the old military compasses, but as you can see, this one doesn't have any uh, text on his rear end there, which the U.S. version does. It says "Made Hong Kong," where this one doesn't have anything on there. Uh, going down to his legs, he does have some text in his legs there, which is 1984 Hasbro, which, you know, these Hasbro sent the molds over to India, so they could use these. But, um, going down, he's got his knee pads, which, you know, have, you know, the holes for there on this other one, as you can see when you take them out. You see, going down to his, his legs, the boots are painted a lot differently than the, the ones on, on the U.S. version. Take them off the stand over here so I can show you. 
here's the US version. Mine's got a little bit of paint wear, but uh, you see on the US figure, they're all painted completely black, as on the uh, the fun school one here. They're it's got brown inside the black there, which this part should have been black. That looks a little bit weird, but see the knife that was unpainted on the uh, US version, which on the fun school one, it's actually got a gold handle, which that's actually pretty cool. And it's also got silver bits on the boots there, which the US version does not have. Okay, so I do have the full car back fist figure, which I actually did not open this when I got it. Uh, it, it was still, the bubble was still attached to the car when I ordered it, but when it came in today, the bubble had actually fallen off the car. Because it was one of them big plastic clamshells, and the bubble was laying down at the bottom of the clamshell. Which actually did work in my favor, because as you can see, it tore very little. So the car is still in actually really good shape. Now, uh, so, uh, I do have the, cla the plastic bubble right here, as you can see. It's kind of thin plastic, as you can see, it, it bends very easily. Now, uh, the card is made out of a different material than the, uh, zoom out a little bit, than the, uh, U.S. version. See, it's, it bends, it's kind of thin. Not, now, the U.S. Zartan didn't come on the card. But I do have the full card back for the eel, and you see it's a lot thicker, and it's made out of a different kind of material than, than this, uh, fun school one. And as you can see, there's some stuff down at the bottom. There, you know, and, uh, so, uh, here's also some figures that were also available over there, and, uh, which, they used a lot of the same molds, but, uh, some of them were, were different, that was the version 2 of the eels that they used, and, uh, Lifeline, they painted them, uh, completely different, but they used the, uh, Tiger Force, uh, artwork, because they kind of painted them that way, but, uh, see, there's, uh, they used version 4 of Copa Commander, right there, as you can see, which I do not have. There's Desert Scorpion, the the second version of Deep Six, you know, Roadblock, and a lot, you know, uh, a lot of different ones here. Some of these I, I ain't never heard of before. I count down. There's Big Boa. I've heard of him. Dial Tone, which I've never seen Dial Tone look that way. So I think they maybe use a different figure for Dial Tone. Sci-Fi looks kind of strange. Mercer, which I think Mercer was originally a uh, Flawless Marauders. Uh, figure, I think, or sorry, as far as Renegades, I'm sorry, the Marauders were different, but uh, get there. We go, as you can see, the file card has the same text and stuff as the uh, US version here. I got to say, which I got to compare, which is the file card is shaped completely different, and uh, as you can see, it's got the same uh, text as this part right here. And, uh, but this one doesn't include the psychological profile, which, when I do a review on the standard release, U.S. releases R10, I'll read all this and go, all uh, through it, but, uh, so still, you know, pretty, pretty cool. Now, one thing I did notice is this artwork was actually, uh, uh, artwork that was used, by pre, uh, 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 the chameleon, the Zartan boy came with the chameleon, I guess. Did you see, he doesn't have the arm, armor. And, uh, so I'll show you a, a picture of that, as you can see. The, the, it is a little bit different. The mask is shaped a little bit different. The hood has, comes up more to a point right there. It's got the orange pistol. So they, you know, they try to make it look like the, the figure. Okay, I had to go swap my microphone out because my other one's going dead. But, um, as you can see, here is my complete, uh, collection of Zartans. And uh, I do have the box for the six inch one, but it's uh, stored up and I, uh, I have to go to, uh, down there and find it. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have it here to show you. But uh, do I do have the other cards for the other figures there, as you can see. I have uh, the you know version one from 84, two of the fun school ones from uh, 2001. I got the 25th anniversary version and the color change version, which I don't know why they didn't make the standard one color change. So I like the other figure because it seems like they would made it color change to see he's got more skin showing but actually that one came with a chameleon too which is kind of undersized i also have the pursuit of cobra one right there with the the bird which is that, that one uh the the disguise feature on it is actually cool you know it actually disguises uh Zartan a little bit better but uh, we'll get into that when i do a review on it and uh the six inch classified Zartan. there's two other classified Zartans too which I think I might uh, get those two. They made a Walmart a retro one and a 
uh, one that color changed with six different masks and so I might invest and get those too because as you can tell Zartan is one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters ever that's why I have you know a pretty good bit of Zartan figures and I'm glad I finally was able to add the fun school one to my collection because that was a figure I thought I would never own because they're kind of hard to find now and uh, there was I forgot to mention too there was a variant that had the uh, up top of the shoulder with the armor there black and white like the uh, shoulder armor so uh, that version's even more rare so maybe I can find it one day too but um so usually I take this time to talk about media appearances but uh but I'll save uh, I'll get into all that when I do a review on the uh US releases are done because I'm not 100% for sure if uh, the fun school one actually made the uh, appearances like if they had their own like cartoon over there so I'm not 100% for sure but you could let me know in the uh uh, comments that they did but uh but so uh, if you like this video and you want to see more give me a thumbs up that helped me out a lot and uh don't forget to subscribe button till next time